Okay, doke. So, I'm currently swapping guitars for the next couple of covers because these have been built for built for my Valentine, which are in drop C and D standard. And for those, you'll recognise this. This is my Schecter Blackjack Avenger A6, and it's my thrash metal workhorse and my kind of heavy metal stuff. I'll be playing loads of different kinds of rock and metal because that's just where I like to stand with my music perspective but this is going to be the lower tunings so you'll see this go down to drop B at one point I'm not a massive fan of drop B but I really like the song and I want to cover it so that's what I'm going to do this is I want to say a basswood body but it could be mahogany could be a mahogany or a maple neck I'm not massively certain as it's all gloss black and I've not really looked up the specs besides the hardware but Hardware wise, this is a fantastic guitar. You've got Hip Shop Bridge, which is industry standard, fantastic, reliable thing. You've got your Seymour Duncan Sentient Nazgul pickups, which are just kings for heavy metal. They just sound really, really big and bitey and tacky and snarly, and I love them. And then you've got your Graph Tech Nut, which is another industry standard piece. I wouldn't have any other guitar besides this unless it was something like a brass or a bone nut, but even then, I probably stick to graph tech, that's why I know and I love it and you've got your Schecter own brand locking tuners on the back which saves all the hassle of having big winds of string along my posts and I hate having string on my posts that's not true, I love it, I just don't like too much because it gets irritating but yeah, this is my fantastically beautiful gloss black guitar that might not stay gloss black for a while I have some ideas about if I want it refinished or not but I might just keep it as is but it's got a wee scratch on it and that niggles me but yeah, neck profile, mm, neck profile on this is slim, but not Ibanez slim, not like a wizard, but it's not like a, a Les Paul thick, it's a nice mix of the two. So it's just somewhere between leaning towards thinner, which is really good for the quicker stuff. But this is my favourite heavy metal guitar, it's my only one right now, but it's the best one I've ever played, and I think we'll be sticking with Schecter for a long time. So this is the metal machine. In your background, if you can see this occasionally in each video, well, maybe not in a few, but definitely in a couple you've seen this. This is my Schecter 5 string bass, I think it's an Omen Extreme 5. I might be wrong about that though, it could be a Hellraiser 5, I'm not entirely sure. The models are quite similar, but this is a couple of years old now. This is a flame maple top, mahogany body, maple neck and rosewood fingerboard. Schecter standard uh, pegs, quite nice stuff. It's a bolt on, which is the only bolt on neck I've actually got right now. But with bases, I've always liked bolt on necks, I've never liked set through necks. Just something about it just doesn't feel right with me. Five string bridge, Schecter's stock active pickups, which sound fantastic, big and crunchy. I'm usually doing quite overdriven tones, kind of like motorhead kind of style tone. So these fit perfectly for me. I was thinking about putting the EMGs in it at some point, but I might not. Depends how I feel about it, really. That's my base. I'll be doing one of the covers on this at some point soon. So keep your eyes peeled. Just don't peel your eyes. That's a stupid thing to say. But this is my pride and joy right now. This is my latest and greatest guitar. This is a Schecter C1 Classic in antique colouring. It's a lovely warm colour, amber colour. And I'm loving it. It's the mixture of like a mixture of almost like the Avenger, but almost has a Les Paul feel to it as well. Mahogany wings, again another through neck. Maple and walnut stripe neck. Really, really, really stable. Just an absolute monster. JB Jazz pickups. Hardtail bridge that I'm not sure many people are fans of right now. But I've had a couple of guitars like this and I've had no issues whatsoever with them. Really like them. Stable enough. Maybe, maybe I would have liked it more with a hip shot bridge, but I, d I don't want to change anything on the guitar. I don't think I could, to be honest, because of the way it's set up. But, no, it's beautiful as it is. It's got an odd toggle selection, which is fun for me. I think one of these is like bridge, out of phase, middle, something else, and then neck. There's a couple of unorthodox ones in there for switching. Graph Tech Nut, again, and Grover standard tuners on the back. I'm loving them.
they're quite uh, resistant to movement. They're not very slippery, which I actually prefer because it feels like you're actually doing something instead of just kind of spinning them and things just don't happen as quickly as you'd like. But yeah, this is the guitar you're going to be seeing for the next wee while. I've got a couple of tunes to do on this, maybe three or four that I might do. Take some time off the heavy metal stuff for a bit because it's getting a bit dull for me now. I've been doing it non-stop for hours every day to do these videos. So I'm going to go back to do some kind of rocky stuff and I'm going to really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy it too. Catch you later.